Hi, this is Rich Merritt with Digital Combustion, and today's tutorial is going to be on activating Fire Studio, and this will work on both versions 6.5 and 7.0. If you've used Fire Studio in the past, the activation panel looks a little different. It used to be actually a separate program where you'd activate it through, but now it's built into the program, so it's actually a little bit easier. So let's go ahead and activate Fire Studio. So what we see here is we've got the license ID, the password, and the install name. Those are the three things we're going to do today. And so for the license ID, you should have an email that uh, gives you that information. You can also get it on your customer portal. So uh, we're going to go ahead and enter our license ID. And then we're going to enter our password. And that is not case sensitive, so you can use capitals or small case letters. It doesn't matter. It'll take it either way. And then for the install name, that becomes pretty important down the road because if, especially if you have different installations of Fire Studio, you've got player editions, instructor editions, or multiple of, of any kind of Fire Studio, it makes it much easier down the road if something happens and you need to reactivate or reset a license or something like that. If we have a name on that computer, it makes it much easier for us to look that up in our system and get that reset for you. So I'm going to go ahead and just call this one Laptop 1. And that, again, that can be anything you want it to be. So once we have all that information in those boxes, all we have to do is click the Activate button. And you have to make sure that you, you do need to be connected to the Internet to make this work. So we're going to do an online activation here. So we click Activate. This window will come up, and it's going to tell you it's going to connect to the Internet and authorize Fire Studio. And then it's also going to tell you that then it'll close Fire Studio after it activates and uh then the next time you start it up, it will be fully activated. So I'm going to click yes on this. And then what happens is, is this window will come up and it'll tell you activation successful. And when you click that, Fire Studio will then completely close. And so what we're going to do is we're going to open it back up. Now you can see we're running Fire Studio and it's fully activated. This is an instructor edition of the software. Now, if we ever want to get back to that screen, you used to have to go into, a, like I said, a separate program and open that program up. It was called License Manager. Well, now you can do it directly from within Fire Studio, and we just have to hit the R key, and that's we call that the Report Panel. And in the Report Panel, it has both your license number, the ID right here, who it's licensed to, and then also it gives you the version that you're running. So if you ever want to find out, hey, what version am I running, uh, you, can, you can hit that R, the R key on your keyboard anytime and it'll bring that up. And then to get rid of that, you just have to hit the R key again. And if you ever had to move this software to a different location, uh, you would need to first deactivate this software on the computer that was on. And you can do that using this deactivate button. And that'll allow you to deactivate this license, which then puts it back on your portal. And you can activate the software somewhere else on a different computer so you don't have to call us and say hey I want to move it I need to I need to deactivate the license so you can actually do it yourself from this screen so that's it really that's all there is to activating Fire Studio again this works on version 7 and 6.2 so I'm Rich Merritt with Digital Combustion and we will see you on the next tutorial